it seems as though the doctor had to cut the patient off a few times. And I know when we studied the medical interview, we were told to like just let the patient talk. And so I was just going to ask the doctors and tech to this, when is it necessary to cut the patient off? That is a very, very good point. And a lot of times your interview that was meant to take 20 minutes ends up taking an hour because you do not. Now, if you have the hour, you can go ahead. If it is that you do have a lot of patients there, you can adopt the list in the beginning so that you can try and let them know, sort of, okay, well, what do, you, what do you have to, how can I help you today? What are the various things that you need help with? And then if you have a list, then you can ask them which is the most important and deal with it. If you actually do that and they still go on, I think it's a matter of discretion and trying to do it in a way that will not offend the patient, make the patient know that you still care very much about what they're going to say because you're going to help them. Because if you don't do that, then they're not going to come back to you. And it's not a matter of your economics why they don't come back to you, but they would not have been helped where they went to seek help for. So it's largely a, a matter of discretion. Yeah? But I, um, did anybody feel that it, the, the cutting off was, I mean, in this situation, this is a scenario, this is a vignette. Just as how Mr. Carter came in and was being deliberately belligerent and obtrusive, it's the same situation to be here. So we don't know exactly what is fact and what is fiction, but it's all good because we need to clarify certain things. Anybody else have anything in terms of the cutting off? I can't reach all the way up there with this, so talk loudly. And then the patient said, really? You have to see me? Which is good. Excellent. Thank you. You figure that out already? The drama and kill. You give me a whole kick. How am I doing? How am I doing? That's in my work today, right? <laughs> Excellent. Any other comments? It seems that this side of the room is getting like carnival spirit. People are on this side. Thank you. <laughs> Another comment I'd like to make is when besides the doctor showed interest in the patient, when the patient went to talk about her daughter getting married, and she didn't cut her off, like get back to talk about it here, but she continued the conversation and showed interest not only in her medical side of her life, but also in her personal side. That's a very good observation. Can anybody think why that might have been done? To make the patient comfortable. To make the patient comfortable, yes, but there are other reasons as well. Excellent. Another one? Also to help the patient make connections between her condition and her lifestyle. Correct. Very good. And this, all of this, that's great. All of this will also help the doctor in her ultimate diagnosis because you can pick up a history. History is the most important part of this whole patient interview. Um, today we're not doing history, we're interested in like the social part of, of the interview, but you've picked up a lot of things already which will be definitely very, very um, appropriate. That's great. Um, there was another, um, you notice that the doctor reassured the patient about certain things, you know, as, as they went along, particularly coming up, trying to wrap up the interview, but the patient kept up accepting it, so you reassured. So you reassured, even though when she was expecting to lose five pounds in two weeks, Doctors would know that that's not supposed to happen. Safely, we want to lose one pound a week, which is 3,500 calories. So you lose 500, you stop eating 500 calories every day for seven days, you lose 3,500 calories, which is one pound. If you eat 500 calories more every day, you have a milkshake every day, you'll put on a pound at the end of the week. It's just math. But the point is, the patient was allowed to go ahead because the patient said, okay, well, I'll do this. I didn't like the vegetables, but I'll try. But when the doctor said, well, you know, the same fruits that you were talking about that are sweet and the same chocolate. 
but the chocolate is going to damage you, the fruits won't. That kind of thing, you do it in a way so that you play on what the patient is telling you, and you take the positive things out of it and, and give it right back. So it makes them feel as though they made the decision as well, which makes it more easy for them to do. Um, and even though some things may not be sufficient in terms of reassurance, you say, yes, you do that. Because you know at least if the patient takes the first step, it's going to be easier to take the second and the third and the fourth. Okay? Um, and one point out of that, the three things that the doctor wrote on the form would have been um, diet, fruits, and something else. Well, it's diet and exercise, but sleep, sleep, that was important. And to make the connections between the sleep and so on, that's, that's for another story. But the thing is, summarizing at the end makes the patient, okay, this is my to-do list. And the doctor explained, this is not a prescription, I'm not giving you tablets to lose weight, I'm not giving you tablets to sleep. This can be done naturally. And she was given a natural prescription as it were, and when she came back into it, both of them will be looking forward to seeing each other again. Good. Any other burning comments on this particular one? I mean, there are lots of things that we could say, but we don't have the time. So, um, shall we move on to the next one then? Next one will be Dr. Hannah and Rayanne. In character, please. Excuse me, I'd just like to say that what we're going to do, the next two, the last two vignettes, we're just going to let run in sequence so that you can make your comments um, after the two scenarios, okay? So that just wanted to let you know that now so that you prepare for it. Okay. saying when it's good to go come time, this was your appointment, thank you for that. Can I have your name, please? It's Rianne. Rianne, Rianne, full name? R-A-E-A-N-N, Smith. Smith. Yes. Okay, I can call you Miss Smith. Or Rianne. Or Rianne. Okay, Rianne. Yeah. What's your date of birth, if you don't mind me asking? The 6th of March. Okay, that's good enough, thank you. <laughs> okay. Right. And uh, I hope you don't mind taking taking the notes because what you would say is important. I don't want to do that. Is that okay with you? Sure. Um, I could get the prescription after. Right? Oh, or, yes. Okay. You, you, uh, just let me see what's happening. I just right. will ask you a couple of questions just to get an idea of what's happening. All right. So okay. we know what kind of prescription. For you. Does that make sense to you? Sure, but I think I know what I want. But I would like to know what you have, what, what's the situation. All right. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, sure. All right. Okay. How can I help you today? Just tell me a little bit more about your situation. Um, I have a cold and it's running away. Okay. So I think I just need some antibiotics and I should be fine. You, you believe so? Yes. All right. Now, in this blue, how is it affecting you? Well, I have a meeting in like 15 minutes. I have, I have work to do. I'm behind mm -hmm. in some work and I need to get back to it. Okay. Um, and this call is kind of slowing me down. Okay. So I just need to get rid of it like right now. Okay. And I think I, I'll be fine. Okay, what do you work? Hold on a second, yeah? 
Hello. Hello, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming just now. I just need to get a description. Like two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Is that your place of work for you? Yes. What do you work? Uh, um, it's a financial company in town. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of it. And what kind of work do you do there? Finances. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and this is makes you feel a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I have to go with it. It's always a crisis. We just yeah. need to deal with it. Yes. And well, I understand that. Okay. And this is will make your flow even get worse and not going quickly. Well, I, I don't really don't know. I just know it's not going away, and I just wanted to go away. Okay. All right, but before you came here, did you take anything for the performance? No, I'm, I'm allergic to all that stuff. So you did not really... No, 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 I can't take, take like two minutes. It makes me sick. Ah, you did not. So you did not take anything? Yeah. No. Alright. And <coughs> um, what, what do you mean by flu? What's, how is it affecting you? <coughs> well, <coughs> I can see. By, um, my throat is sore. And okay. I think I have an infection and my sinuses are clogged out. And, you know, the other okay. stuff. Okay, so you have allergy. I guess so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I want to know that um, you have you have been uh, away at all and traveled before anywhere or something? Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, like a few weeks ago, I went to New York and come back. Okay. Um, okay. Went to Tobago like last week. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think that's about it. And how, how was that? Was it good? Or was yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and like the meetings went well, and and you know everything. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, man. And how how long after we came back from this trip, you started to feel uh, the fog coming on? I think I had it from since before I went to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've the, had it a while, but just wasn't. The stress of traveling made it a little bit worse. Maybe, yeah. On yeah. top of what you work as well, a bit less. So yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. Okay. Uh, well, I. <coughs> I know I have a picture of what's happening. Okay. And I got that the stress of your work is making it worse and is the way you spoke. Well, I mean, it's not more stress than usual. I'm accustomed to stress. I said, being stressed. Yes. It's the call that I want to get rid of. Yes. You know, the stress is alright. Yes. Uh, all right. Do you, you know, of course, uh, Re uh, mm. Rian, mm. that is really you have to uh, rest. You have to take the time to rest. Yeah. About that's for old people. I, all right now, I just need to get ready to cool, right? I can rest when I'm tired. All right. You know that the, the symptoms you're suffering from is really is a virus and really is a so, virus. yes. And the virus okay. really, you can't really um, do much about it. You have to rest and drink the water. So what's your plan to do that? So to drink water. Yes, uh -huh. and you have to rest. I can do that. Um, all right, like, I took a, a nap in the waiting room <laughs> before I came in. Yes, so did it help? I feel the same way, I'm still stuffy. Yes. So, I don't know. I think if we take a nap at home, it would be much better <laughs> than take a nap in the work. Uh, all right. So, really, uh, this is not a matter of antibiotics, really. So, I, I didn't have to come you. here today, I could have just stayed on and sleep. And yes, if you, I, I would recommend that you take time off. Just time off? Yes, like two, three days. Just to of rest. work? Yes. Um, uh, you can just give me some antibiotics and then... Well, uh, let me repeat again that antibiotics really will not uh, do anything to virus. All what you need is just to take time off, away from the stress of at work, and you drink water, and in two, three days, trust me, you'll get your energy back. So, this will be this. so if I do take a care of what yes. you're saying is that I would not get better, I would just have to live with this cold? It will, <coughs> it will go away, but it would take longer time. So I would really would want you, mm -hmm. want the best for you, so I think recommend that you can just take two, three days mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. and uh, just rest in the cold. Get away from the stress, just for you your heart. I will, um, what do you think of that? I will, I will drink the water, okay. definitely. Mm -hmm. I can do that. All right. Definitely. Okay. I don't know about it. All right. What I, what I will say, mm -hmm. please try that. I can give you something that to relieve the headache and the, the mm -hmm. pain will become less. Okay. That makes sense. But uh, really, uh, this uh, is a virus. And mm -hmm. really, uh, you 
you have to work it out. So, but in the meantime, uh -huh. okay, um, I will give you that prescription, and please, if it gets worse at any time, mm -hmm. from now on, and you feel really bad, mm -hmm. please get in touch with me. And I have my card. Okay. Uh, I will give it to you, please protect me there or not. All right. So in this case, we can do something more. <coughs> Is that okay? All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Wait for the prescription, and mm -hmm. you take it easy. All right. I'll, yeah. I'll try. I will. Yeah, please I'll take try. it easy, so you can function and just stay mm -hmm. doing what you do for no time. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. All right. Here's the prescription. And I put this to you, and please don't hesitate to contact me if you need to at any time. Okay? Rajendra. Mm -hmm. How are you spell that? R-A-J-E-N-D-R-A. Uh-huh, the city.